First on Fox, a business losing thousands of dollars after a water main break floods historic Main Street in St. Charles. Yeah, some business owners are working overtime after being forced to shut down. Fox 2 Stephanie Rothman joins us live now with their concerns ahead of the holiday shopping season. Stephanie? Well, this stretch of street has been jam-packed with tourists and locals alike, many of them walking down here and looking over at this gawking hall over here. This hall is the water main break that happened just 48 hours ago. And although the city has made major strides in repairing it, it does bring up the question of whether or not this happens again, the impact it would have on holiday shopping. On Monday afternoon at 3 p.m., a car's tire caused a water main break on Main Street in Tompkins. It definitely like looked like it was um, like sucked in almost, like the tire was definitely like deep into this uh, brick. Everyone's outside watching it. Water rushing down the street towards the Missouri, turning much of Main Street into a river itself. There was a kind of a depression in the road over where our water main was probably had a slow leak. And it is a 100-year-old main along here is cast iron. Uh, and just over time, it slowly deteriorates and the conditions uh, were just right for it to break. Water service is now restored, but the cookie-sized hole, as Gallo describes, soon turning into a 60-foot long portion of the street, now being ripped up for repairs. It's kind of concerning. I'm hoping that it doesn't affect the businesses and things like that. Many businesses say that's the cost of being on Main Street and avoided flooding, but the incident itself did cause some to shut off water, losing business in the process. Located directly across from the break, salt and smoke lost $5,000. Yeah, it's tough, especially, I mean, these last couple of years with everything being a little bit tougher out here, for sure, losing revenue on any time uh, is kind of tougher, but uh, Monday nights are usually pretty good revenue for us, so it definitely uh, wasn't fun losing, losing out on that, for sure. Across the street, Riverdale Suites also had to shut down. We did have to close early that day. We closed like about an hour early, so we did lose some business. We're really hoping nothing like this is going to happen around, uh, around the holidays, for sure. And over the next week, crews will be laying down brick, finishing this repair job. And this is what makes the city so great. So many locals were telling me is the brick that makes it the charm of the city that they love. And they're hoping that it'll stay this way when we come up on the holiday season shopping. Reporting in St. Charles, Stephanie Rothman, Fox 2 News.